Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy, and thank you so much for being here. I just filmed something for TikTok and Instagram. I've realized this is why, this is, this is hard for me. I love my YouTube, and I prefer to save, like, the best content for my YouTube. Call me crazy. But to me, long-form content is, like, what I love. It's what I love to share, to add context to the conversation, all of that stuff. So I was going to film a, like, if I lost everything makeup, what would I buy back first for YouTube? But I'm actually in a little bit of a time crunch. I'm going to get lunch with some friends in a couple hours, and um, I really just wanted to make sure I had the time to dedicate to a video like that, so I filmed it very quickly for TikTok. And I love the look. Obviously, I love the makeup that I chose, but I'm gonna film it again for you. YouTube later because I really want to talk about each product, maybe add in some skincare choices, some other things like to consider. So we're definitely going to be doing that and that's probably going to be our next video. But this video is going to be empty. I thought that I had more than I do. I actually don't have that much, so it should be good. But what I do have... Um, these are like really, really good things. These are like holy grails or things that I like. I'm really sad that they're done and I'm trying to approach the way that I go about my product use this year in a more, just a more normal way. <laughs> like once I'm done with one of these, I'll take something out that maybe I've been using and liking instead of picking out a brand new product that is exactly the same as these. Do you know what I'm trying to say? We'll talk about it as we get into it, but we have skincare, makeup, body care, hair care, like we always do, a good mix of things. And I would say these are all things that I finished off at the end of 2022 or going into 2023. So we'll have sort of those like end of year final thoughts on these as well. Look at Penny, she's so cute. Hey Penny, I love you. So anyways, if you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. We're gonna be talking about a lot of fun stuff coming up. I'm looking at this huge thing of another round of drugstore makeup that I purchased recently that I feel like you guys are going to want my opinions on. A lot of new stuff, including some stuff from Essence, Flower Beauty, Pacifica, um, just a lot of good stuff. And then also, of course, we do empties, we do favorites, we do um, skincare, hair care, makeup. We kind of do it all here, and I would love to have you subscribe. All right, let us pull out my trash. I keep this in my closet. So I just add and add and add and add. Should we start with hair care, body care, skin care, or makeup first? I feel like body care. Let's do body care because it's kind of what's sitting at the top here. So we've got two things from Naturium and one thing from Honest Beauty. This is the Honest Beauty bubble bath in Truly Calming, which is just like a lavender scented body bath or bubble bath. I love this stuff. Reed and I have like a pretty nice bath in our bathroom and we probably take baths once a week and separately, you nasty, sometimes together, but mostly separately. And this is a great bubble bath. I think that this is good for sensitive skin because that's like the whole thing with Honest Beauty. I will say obviously there's fragrance in here if you're like not a fragrance person. Blend of lavender essential oils and chamomile. So like, you know, it's bubbling up at the top. I don't mind it as much. I don't like using um, essential oils on my body over like an extended amount of time. I don't have an issue with this. These are also safe for babies, I think, or maybe they have a baby brand under Honest. Don't listen to me. I don't have a baby. I don't know how to do baby stuff but I really liked this it lasted us a long time I think I'm going through one from true botanicals right now I'm just kind of using whatever we have but if I didn't have anything coming up to use in the bubble bath I would totally buy these again and they're pretty big 17 ounces like it took me a long time to go through this so if you're a bath person I, I would definitely recommend it okay so two things from Naturium and these were both favorites that I talked about in my end of year favorites so and one of them it looks like there's a lot of product left in there but I swear I got every last drop out okay the choices are the glow getter multi oil body wash and their bio lipid restore body lotion these are not from the same like line within Naturium but I feel like they go together and they're sold kind of together. I actually did an ad with them for Instagram and they wanted me to use both. So this is kind of like my perfect little duo. First of all, the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. This is an oil to gel formula, which sounds crazy, but I'm telling you this stuff is so freaking good. Also, I broke the top. 
let's not talk about it. This has 16 ounces and I went through this so fast because I liked it so much. I will say it doesn't really foam like you would want it to foam, which is why I used it very quickly because I wanted to use a lot to get that foam feeling. But because it is an oil to gel formula, that's why it doesn't like give you that super satisfying foam. Something I talked about in my last video about this product is like if you look at the back of the package, you can see the breakdown of all of the ingredients and what they do for your skin as well as the breakdown of the formula, which I think is so freaking cool. This is a really like fatty, rich, body wash so linoleic rich uh oil blend with rosehip oil sea buckthorn oil these are really good for dry skin and then plant derived squalene also really good for dry and irritated skin and apple extract to help with hydrating the skin so I love this stuff. The fact that you can get it at Target is just a bonus to me. I am using one right now, and when I am out, I will go and buy one again. So I really like this, especially for my dry eczema prone skin, and I just slap this on top, and I haven't dealt with eczema on my legs at all this winter. I have dealt with it on my feet, and I get, I'm telling you, every year I get a new spot of eczema, and this year it's on my feet, which is just like so fun but this is the biolipid restoring body lotion it looks like i still have some left in here so i might need to take it back up but it was getting to the point where every time i used it i'd have to smack it on the table to get it to come out which i was annoyed with but this is fragrance free lipid complex all day moisture omega fatty acids shea butter very good pairing with the body wash again you can see on the back all of the different ingredients and what they're used for. It's really amazing. I love Naturium. I've had such a good experience with their products, especially their body products. I'm actually using their salicylic acid body wash right now after I work out because I feel like from my cycling classes, I come home and I'm like sweaty. Maybe I need a snack and I need like five minutes to cool down before I get in the shower. And I feel like I'm getting a little bit of body acne from that. So I'm really liking all of their body wash lines. Obviously their body lotion to help with different skin issues so I love this stuff I'm currently using the rest of a different body lotion like I said I'm trying to use what I have instead of opening brand new things so once I go through what I have open I'll probably pick up one of these again I think this is the only hair care I have in here this time and it is a dry shampoo this is the way super dry shampoo I actually got this like in March of 2022 on a trip with Peach and Lily. They had this in the bathroom and I brought it home because I really did like it. It made my hair feel super soft, super clean, which is what I'm going for with dry shampoo. I want my dry shampoo to make my hair feel like I just got out of the shower for like the first days one through three. And then if I'm really extending and I'm like wanting to add some volume into my hair, I'll go for a dry shampoo that has a little bit more grit to it. This is more of the ones that makes your hair feel clean. So like the Living Proof perfect hair day that makes your hair feel clean batiste makes your hair feel clean this does that as well i also really liked the spray because it's like got this angle to the button it's like easy to use and it's got more of like an aerosol feeling to it i don't know i really liked the shape of the bottle it smells really nice if you like whey products and you like the smell of whey it has that similar scent to it it's just nice i would say you could easily use like the batiste clean and bare instead of this for probably half the price but if you are looking to splurge and you like whey or maybe this is in a set i do recommend it i like it i don't know if i'm gonna buy it again just because again i have so many dry shampoos that i'm going through right now but it is good Again, I don't know if it's worth the money considering to me, I'm just like such a Batiste girl. I love Batiste. I think it works just as well as high end and I will be shouting that from the mountain tops for the rest of my life. Next up, let's talk about, I feel like let's talk about makeup and then we'll round it out with skincare because I think most of what I have in here is skincare. What we have today here is some holy grails that have gone to makeup heaven. One in particular that has fully gone to makeup heaven and that is the Tarte Hydro Sealer. <laughs> this, this was my favorite concealer of all time. Truly my favorite concealer of all time and I used it to the brim. You can see like the packaging. I scraped to the damn sides of this thing. I was like, please sir, give me more. I had mine in shade 25S light medium sand which is my perfect shade. I think I have one back up left 
Let me see. I don't even know. Yeah, I've got one backup left that I haven't opened. And I don't think I'm gonna use it because I can't talk about it with you guys because they discontinued it. So like, you know, I kind of feel weird using it, but it's something that I think I'm just gonna keep because it is like a relic. This is the best concealer ever. I freaking love this. I put so many people on this concealer only for them to discontinue it. So I felt really bad, but I do have a lot of concealers that I like in its place. So right now I'm really loving the Colfi concealer. That's what I'm wearing right now under my eyes. I love the Future Fluid from Milk Makeup, the Say Beauty Concealer, um, and also the, the Ilia. These are all ones that I tried this year. So I will say like, even though this was discontinued, it's sort of a blessing in disguise because I was able to try a lot of concealers in its place to see what I liked and I found a lot of good ones. Whereas like before, this was my ride or die bitch. I would not use anything else. So that's the tea, unfortunately. Another concealer that I really like and was testing in its place that is not as good, but similar is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. I ran out of this this year. I also already have a backup ready to go. I wear mine in shade medium 30W. This is a dupe for the YSL Touche Claw Concealer. Like fully, it is a dupe. Very similar in coverage. Sorry, the sun's about to come out and blind me. <laughs> My poor editor. Sorry, guys. I literally just went to dinner with some friends the other night and I was like, um, I don't feel like my videos are very professional. And this guy is like really kind of into tech. And so he was like telling me what mics and what um, lights to get and stuff. And I was showing him like professional beauty gurus, like Nikki tutorials. And I was like, look at the lighting in her video. <laughs> like, She's got the white backdrop and everything is like crisp and clear and everything is like perfect. And then I showed him one of my videos and it was like me in here making Hattie stop squeaking and you know, the sun beaming in my face. We're not professional here. You guys tell me what you think about that. Do you like that my videos are kind of everyday life or do you want me to go more in depth high end? I can do both, you tell me. Anyways, <laughs> the sun has been pushed back again. I love this concealer. It is a pen style click concealer with this type of wand, like a pen. Um, I loved it. I will say I ran out of it pretty quickly. It's only like six bucks. So for the price you get what you're paying for. But however, the thing that I will say is it's less coverage even than my favorite. So it's lighter coverage than your everyday concealer, but it is really, really beautiful for either highlighting or if you do just want a day where you're not wearing as much makeup, this is really beautiful. And again, quite inexpensive. This is something I used today, but it was like its last use. Two things actually that were its last use. And that is the LA Girl Plush Lash. That's the first thing. And then my Kosas Airbrows, two of them. I've totally cashed out. So this is my favorite mascara. And I think it was my favorite mascara of 2022. This is the LA Girl Plush Lash. It's like six bucks. It has an amazing long ass natural bristle wand with a little bit of an hourglass shape to it. This is a washable mascara, which I'm trying to figure out the difference between washable and tubing because to me, they feel very similar. Like they give you that same fluttery, gorgeous lash. Well, that's based on this wand, but they don't smudge or flake throughout the day, which is why I go for them. I have taken this out of this empty bin a couple times because I missed it. Like, I'm not even kidding. I was like, maybe it's got one more use to it, which like I think today was really its last use because it's feeling crunchity flunkity, crispity dunkity. It's really feeling crispy and I really, really want to buy a new one, but I will say I have been using a new LA Girl mascara and I've been getting a lot of compliments on it and I thought maybe I didn't like it as much as the Plush Lash and now I'm not sure. It's the new LA Girl Lift Off and it has a kind of funky little wand to it. It's got like a little ball on the tip and then the bottom of the wand itself is like super skinny. I don't know, I'm still figuring it out. It's like basically covered in goo at the bottom, which is supposed to like give you a lot of product and then you use the ball to kind of like flake it out and like wisp it out. But it gives you the va va voom effect. Guys, it gives you the va va voom. So I'm gonna use this for a while before I go in and buy another plush lash, although I already miss my plush lash and I love my plush lash. Best mascara. Best mascara. And then like I said, these are the Airbrow from Kosas. I have medium brown and auburn here. I'll use them interchangeably, but it's gotten to the point where I'm like that to get product on these little brows. I love these. I'm actually going over to have lunch today near the mall and I might 
pop in the mall just to get a new one of this because it's kind of like I can't live without it vibes. It is the best uh, brow for people who want to give that like super full look to their brows. Like I don't have the bushiest eyebrows, but I wish they were. And that is what this will give you. Like if you want the look of the bushy, fluffy brow, but also that stays in place, it's this. And honestly, the color, they have a really good color gradient of shades. I will say if you look at it kind of close, it kind of looks like there's like little bits of shimmer in there. I don't know if that helps at all with your brows, but I love this stuff. I can't live without it and I'm just gonna have to buy some more. So that is the tea on all the makeup I used up at the end of the year. Now let's talk about some skincare. Can you tell I'm like not ready to let these products go? I'm like using them sitting here, even though they've been in this garbage can. Okay, so we're gonna kind of rapidly fire through some of these skincare products. We have got the Aveeno Calm and Restore Oat Cleanser, love this. This was also a winner in 2022 for skincare. Amazing gentle cleanser, really, really like this. My husband and I have gone through like multiple of these. Classic gentle cleanser, very inexpensive. I love everything from this line. They've got a great serum as well as a great moisturizer. Highly recommend and very inexpensive. I think that's the only cleanser I went through, although we're almost done with a few other cleansers. So we'll be talking about those next for sure. Let's quickly talk about some serums. I think these are the serums I've got. First is kind of more of an essence and this is the source essence from Monday Born. This is the one that has splooged. So I'm not gonna hold it up for very long, but this is a 79% Centella Asiatica extract essence from the brand Monday Born. I love Monday Born. Monday Born is a brand run by Tenny, who is a influencer who I freaking love. And they're actually run out of the brand Bubel which I've talked about Bubel so many times. Basically, they use a drop method to create their products so that everything you're getting is super fresh. That is an amazing hydrating essence, like perhaps the best one I've ever tried, just saying. The other thing that I am kind of counting as an empty is this Kosas Plump and Juicy Collagen Spray-On Serum. I broke this. I broke the sprayer, so I put it into something else, but I just wanted to talk about the fact that I really do like this. It has a little bit of a scent to it, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to look and see if they added perfume into this product. I hope they didn't, but I actually put it into this spray bottle. So technically it's not an empty at all because here I am using it. Um, I will put this spray bottle um, down below. It's from Amazon. It's got a good little mister to it. So technically it's not empty, but I did wanna mention this, um, that I am liking using this and that I broke it. And then the last serum that I used in here was the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid. I freaking love this stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a backup ready to go, but I am using my Summer Fridays Dream Oasis, which is very similar. Don't feel like I need to have both out at once. Once I go through the Dream Oasis, then I'm gonna go through my Outset Collagen Serum, and then I'm gonna reopen the Rode. So like I said, I'm trying to be better about using things that are open. So once those are done, I will definitely reopen this because you can't buy it. It's damn impossible to buy anything from Rode. So that's why I don't talk about it too much because I'm like, if you can't buy it, why should I talk about it? It doesn't seem fair. Oh my gosh, what a damn mess down here, you guys. Did I really go through three eye creams? I guess I went through three eye creams. Damn, good for me. Eye creams take so long to go through too. So I used the Look Alive Eye Balm from Florence by Mills. I really liked this. This has a cooling tip to it. And um, it probably has a little bit left, but I've had it for a really long time. This is a great eye cream. I feel like it does look good under the eyes. It looks good under makeup. It's fairly inexpensive and it has caffeine in it. So if you're looking for like a good wake you up sort of eye cream, that's a good one. And then there's also this squalene and peptide eye gel from Biosense. This is like an all time favorite of mine. I love this. This works so well under the dew eye masks. Like this pairing here, is so, so, so good. It really hydrates the under eyes. However, this is like $45. That is quite pricey. Eye creams, this, I feel like in this day and age, eye creams are crazy expensive. Speaking of, I'm pretty sure this eye cream is even more than that. This is the Color Science Total Eye Firm and Repair Cream. This is a nighttime eye cream. And I attended like a session where they talked about this eye cream and how it works and how it worked over time for people. And I used it for months. And I felt like it worked pretty well, but like not any better than another eye cream. The only eye cream I've seen like an actual difference in my skin, I don't know if I have it up here or where it is, but it's the um, 
well, first of all, I love the new In Beauty eye cream. Absolutely love that one. The Summer Fridays eye cream. Basically, all the ones that have caffeine and are meant to depuff, I feel like make a difference. These are sort of the workhorse of the eye cream that work over time, like over months and months to help with like your wrinkles under your eye, which I have some, which is fine. It's fine. So I am using an, a nighttime eye cream right now, which is the Make Beauty eye cream. And I like it, the Orbital Balm. It is nice. I would say these two I might repurchase, probably the Biosense over... The color science okay last but not least i've got two moisturizers and two sunscreens these are holy grail moisturizers the dew instant angel and the road barrier restore cream these are basically the same thing i would say i like the dew instant angel a little bit more on texture but i like the road barrier restore cream for traveling because it's in a plastic container it's pretty small and it fits in like your carry-on i love this stuff i love this stuff this is a little bit less expensive i think you get about the same amount of product 1.7 ounces 1.6 six ounces. These are amazing and I am missing them. I'm not going to lie to you. Right now I'm finishing out my Milk Makeup um, Vegan Moisturizer, which I really like as well. And then in the mornings I'm using the Outset Lightweight Moisturizer because again, I'm trying to go through the things I have open, but I am missing these. I'm not going to lie to you. Like I would like to open the jumbo size of the new Barrier Restore Cream that is sitting in my closet, but I'm going to wait because there are products that I like and I'm using and that is the whole point of having a product is to use it. And so that is what I'm going to do. Although I do miss those. I'm not going to lie to you. Two sunscreens. One is a husband and one is a me. So the force shield super light SPF 30 always Reed goes through these like freaking water. He's already done with his next one too. I think he has like one pump left. I always have to buy these for him because no matter what I get him to try, he always wants this. He literally always wants this. So if you have a man in your life who won't use SPF, try and get him this and tell him it's a moisturizer. Honestly, it works. This stuff is amazing. I also like using this a lot. I have been using thicker SPFs in the winter, but this in the summer, it's nice. It's lightweight. It's got a green tint to it to help counteract a little bit of redness. It's a mineral sunscreen and it's SPF 30. It's very, very nice and it's available at Target, which is also nice for accessibility. And then this is just super old and it was time for it to go. This is the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense from Polish Choice. I loved this sunscreen when I was going through it with my, um, my Tretinoin Scaries, like during the purge, this was what I used every single day and I feel like it made a huge difference in my skin, helped me not get sunburnt. I brought this to the beach. I brought this with me everywhere. This has two ounces in it. It's really, really nice. I will say this is again a mineral sunscreen. It is probably going to leave a white cast on darker skin tones. It's slightly tinted, but I do prefer now having tried multiple sunscreens. The Coats um, SPF, I feel like it rubs in a little bit nicer than this and it provides a little bit more of a glowy finish and works on more skin tones. So although I do love this and it was an OG for me and worked very well for me for the time that I needed it, there are more mineral SPFs that I have tried since then that I prefer. So I probably will not be repurchasing this even though I do enjoy it, um, just because I have other things that I want to use that I have opened instead. Woo! Empties make me feel like I gotta be like, blah, 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 blah. and honestly, I could even talk longer about these products. You guys know that. I could give you a review on all of these um, as long as this entire video is. But if you have questions on any of these in particular, let me know down below. I am hopeful that my next empties will be actually pretty soon because, like I said, I'm going through a lot of the things that I own currently. I have some lip products and some makeup that I'm also ready to kind of like toss because they've gotten kind of old but i want to know what you've emptied recently and what your thoughts were on the empty if you'll repurchase it what you're going through in your makeup and skincare right now let me know in the comments down below and i will see you guys in the next video really soon bye